Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of understanding point-to-point -point protocol authentication. Point-to-point -point protocol authentication is an layer 2 protocol. Say it is an WAN protocol. By default, in all Cisco routers, the default WAN protocol is HDLC. The expansion of HDLC is high level data link control protocol. So in HDLC there is no security are there because if in router to router data transmission can be simply it can be transmission there is no security are there. So if we can use point to point protocol means we can provide more security in wide area connection. Point to point protocol is an industry standards. Let's we can see how to configure point to point protocol authentication. In this topology we can create two local area network. This is network 1 and this is network 2. We can take the IP address 210.210.210.0. In local area network we can assign the subnet mask 29 and wide area network we can assign the subnet mask 30. So in local area network we can assign the subnet mask 29. So the subnet mask is 255.255.255.248. So the 248 can be calculated as 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8. So last value we can add it as 8. So each local area network we can assign 8 IP address. In that one IP address is net ID and another IP address is direct broadcast address. So these two IP address we cannot assign to the host. Remaining six IP address we can assign to the host. In local area network the net ID is 0. In second local area network, the net ID is 8. Okay. In wide area network, we can assign the subnet mask as 30. So that, that can be determined as 255.255.255.252. 252 can be calculated as 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4. So last value we can add it as 4. So each wide area network, we can assign 4 IP address in that two IP address cannot be used that is net ID and direct broadcast remaining two IP address can be used net ID is 16 let's we can assign the IP address to the network 1 210.210.210.2 subnet mask is 248 and default gateway can be assigned as 210.210 210.1 so in local area network 1 all the system have common default gateway 210.210.210.3 subnet mask is 248 210.210.210.1 now the default gateway can be assigned to the the router 0 that can be connected to the switch 0 so in that interface the default gateway can be assigned so go to the router first of all we can enable the privilege mode next we can go to the global mode in global mode only we can assign the IP address first of all we can go to the interface interface in short form we can type as int fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP space address 210.210.210.1 Subnet mask is 255.255.255.248. No shutdown to enable that interface. Now we can assign the IP address to local area network 2. 210.210.210.10. Subnet mask is 248. Default gateway is 210.210.210.9. So the default gateway is common for all the PC connected in the local area network 2 210.210.210.11 level subnet mask is 248 default gateway is 210.210.9 now the default gateway can be assigned as router 1 can be connected to switch 1 so in that interface we can assign that default gateway so go to the privilege mode go to the global mode in that we can go to that particular interface interface fast is 0 slash 0 here we can assign the IP address IP space address 210.210.210.9 subnet mask is 255.255.255.250 sorry 248 
no shutdown to enable that interface now in local area network we can assign the IP address now we can assign the IP address to wide area network in wide area network first of all we can go to that router 0 so this port is in DCN so DCN means here we can apply the clock rate but in DTN we cannot apply the clock rate so first of all go to that interface interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 